A recent photograph shared by the U.S. Navy on its DVIDS platform reveals newly mounted Coyote counter drone launchers on the Arleigh Burke class destroyer USS Bainbridge, DDG 96. Highlighted by the war zone on August 11, 2025, this marks the first publicly released image confirming the system's operational presence on a destroyer. The snapshot, captured during a helicopter, boarding, search, and seizure exercise in the Ionian Sea as part of NATO's Neptune strike drill, shows the launchers installed in a realistic maritime environment. This move underscores the Navy's increasing focus on agile, cost-effective defenses against unmanned aerial threats. The photograph is more than just an update, it signals a shift in fleet defense tactics. The introduction of loitering interceptors illustrates the Navy's adaptation to a threat landscape where surveillance drones, attack drones, and massed swarms blur traditional lines of engagement. USS Bainbridge, a flight IIA Arleigh Burke class vessel within the Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group, is tasked with shielding critical naval assets in complex operational theaters. Raytheon's Coyote interceptors are positioned near the aft MK-41 vertical launch system cells, adding a protective layer against small, low-altitude drones. With their ability to loiter and maneuver, these interceptors represent a new generation of ship-based counter-UAV technology designed to complement long-range missile systems. The Coyote has extensive operational history with the U.S. Army particularly in its Block II configuration under the Low, Slow, Unmanned Aircraft Integrated Disposal System, LIDS, program. It has been deployed in regions such as the Middle East, Africa, and Europe, demonstrating effectiveness against drone incursions. Compared with larger ship-launched interceptors like the SM-2 Block IIIC and ESSM, which can cost between $1.65 million and $2 million per missile, the Coyote's approximate $100,000 price makes it a cost-efficient option. Its loitering capability allows persistent coverage, preserving expensive missiles for more critical threats. Strategically, fitting Arleigh Burke-class ships with Coyotes reflects the Navy's recognition of unmanned systems as a growing maritime challenge. While traditional surface-to-air missiles remain essential for large aircraft and cruise missile defense, they are not economically practical against swarms of inexpensive drones. By integrating Coyote launchers, destroyers can maintain continuous counter-drone protection without overusing high-value munitions. This layered approach aligns with broader military priorities emphasizing modular, scalable, and budget-conscious fleet defense, an approach that may influence allied navies. Although the Navy has not confirmed plans to deploy Coyotes fleet-wide, images of a similar setup on USS Winston S. Churchill suggest that multiple vessels are under evaluation. With Raytheon supplying Coyote Block II units to the Army, a naval procurement program could soon expand the system's role across the surface fleet. The appearance of Coyote launchers on USS Bainbridge exemplifies the evolving strategy of layered defenses that combine operational readiness with cost-effectiveness, offering a blueprint for future armament decisions on U.S. warships.